everybody welcome to the first in a series of videos on my exocopter build and I'll start to build it today and I have here all the parts I'll use I have the motors here uh, these are the motors I'll use these are like motors for phantoms I bought that on Aliexpress I got here all the ESC's already flashed to Simon K the receiver I'll be using a Fly Sky 8 channel because I'm gonna be using my radio this one my own made gimbal brushless to control it for the gimbal, not sure if I'll use this or if I'll use the NASA. I have to check that out. Frame, exa frame, legs to keep it tall, GPS here, yeah. GPS plus compass, and uh, a NASA light which has been upgraded to a two version two so this is pretty much all I'll use and um, besides all this I'll use some wire wiring some solder and uh, some uh, connectors XT60s and stuff like that some bullet connectors probably not sure yet and um, okay let's start building in order to reduce weight I've decided that I'm not gonna use any bullet connectors I'll remove all of these and I'll install the motors to the arms and solder wires I'll cut wires to length and solder them directly all I have to do is three of these which are the ones with the black nut I'll solder them parallel and they'll rotate clockwise as the, the nut tights counterclockwise and uh, for the other three I'll simply cross two wires to make them rotate counterclockwise so I'll start by installing the motor to the arm I have here the screws that come with it then I'll cut the wires to length and uh, and put them in place so these are the bolts that come with it let me get a a wrench that fits, which is this one, and so this will be a clockwise arm. And uh, now I have a problem. The bolts that come with this are not long enough. The bolts that come with this are not long enough. Very cool. One point down to this. So I'll use the ones that come with the frame. And hopefully those will be long enough so these are the ones for the motors I think because they don't fit here in the frame let me check yes they don't fit so these are the ones for the motors okay and these ones are long enough
Okay, so the motor is pretty much in place in the arm. Now let me put the wires down. ESC in place with a, a zip tie the ESC in place. I'll start by cutting the wires. Cut this out of here. No. How long should these be? So I'm gonna start by cutting the ones coming from the ESC. everything cut to length. I'll start soldering these in place. I'll have to pre-tend them and uh, do the pre-tend thing and then just go ahead and put some heat shrink over it and solder everything in place. So this one is a clockwise rotator. Everything will go s straight as it is here. Then the next one will be a, a counterclockwise. And the other one will be... I'll save some weight with this. And the other one will be the same. So... these wires Ten all of these.
Okay, now that everything is pre tin let's put the heat shrink in place. Put the heat shrink in place and solder things together. And, uh, So, let me turn this around and uh, melt it together. Okay. Yeah, and they're all in place now. Let's just pull the heat shrink ahead. And uh, now let's just pull the heat shrink in place. Pull it, pull it into place and uh, and shrink it. We got one arm done. Then we'll hold things together with an, another zip tie here. And uh, we got one arm done. Let's test it and see if it rotates. Uh, let's see if it rotates in the right direction. It should. Should should should. Uh -huh. Plug it to the receiver channel three. Plug in. Plug in the radio. And uh, very quickly connect the cables. So it should tight and it is rotating. It is rotating the right direction. So We're good. Now let's do the same thing to the other five arms. Okay? Remembering that this one, we're gonna have to cross wires to make it rotate counterclockwise. 